Starfield is the next major release in a long line of space adventure and exploration games from the past decade. Bethesda Game Studios has touted they are uniquely equipped with the right people, system, and tools to make the best space game ever. With this comes high expectations of not only story, design, and overall immersion, but of course ship-based combat in space. In an interview with IGN, Todd Howard made these remarks concerning space combat. So there is some dog fighting. I have quotes up. Um, <laughs> we keep the pace fairly slow. This, along with other remarks, has caused concern that space combat in Starfield will not feel epic. But I'd like to argue that it could still be fun. Let me explain. Welcome to Starfield Signal, the place for everything Starfield. I am your host, Luke Woodward, and today we are talking about space combat. If you've ever played or watched gameplay from other space adventure games, the space combat can be one of the most fun and dynamic elements. Managing your power between the weapons, shields, and other ship systems, all while maneuvering your way through combat can really make for a fast-paced and exhilarating experience. From the gameplay footage Bethesda showed off at its reveal event, I would argue that the space combat looked fairly fast-paced, especially when fighting multiple ships at once. That's why when I heard Todd Howard's remarks about wanting to keep the space combat slow-paced, I was genuinely disappointed. Bethesda has said again and again how they like to say yes as much as they can to the player, so that the freedom they have adds to the immersion of their experience. Here, it seems that Howard and the team have said no to fast-paced space combat and have really limited the player experience. I imagine for some players, this is where they will be excited to spend most of their time in the game. Roaming open space throughout the galaxy, role-playing as a pirate or smuggler, itching to get to the next dogfight. If the game intentionally keeps these combat situations slow-paced, this could lead to these scenarios becoming boring and repetitive much quicker. If you're enjoying this video so far, I'd love for you to subscribe and join us on our Starfield journey. Thanks, now back to space combat. Couldn't they at least allow for an option for the player to choose the pace and challenge they wanted for space combat? I'll be the first to admit I am not the greatest at flight combat in any game. If there is an easy or slow mode, that is honestly the one for me. The early Star Wars Rogue Squadron games were just the right pace for me. They allowed for an engaging player experience, all while keeping the controls for flight and weapons simple. Elite Dangerous, on the other hand, leans far more heavily into the simulation side of things. Here in Elite, just as Todd mentions, you have the capabilities to control your allocation of power between several different systems, have preset weapon and tool combinations ready to cycle through, all while giving you complete freedom and flexibility to engage in combat at your own level and your own pace. Although I will say I quickly get in over my head when it comes to dogfighting. With this said, I do second guess whether Todd means space combat will always be slow paced or just that you will be able to make the decisions of whether or not to engage in those slow or fast paced encounters. We already have heard him talk about how they reworked the fuel system for space travel. He mentions in an interview that they had a fuel system that would actually allow you to get stuck out in space and you had to call for help and wait it out. The idea was that they wanted a sense of realism and wanted to give the player the freedom to make those risky decisions to keep moving forward even if they weren't prepared. However, after testing this and giving it some more thought, they realized this heavily penalized the player and essentially brought the game and fun to a halt. And that is never good. So if this line of thinking is a part of their process, I would think they would also apply it to space combat and not keep the pace so slow that it becomes boring and repetitive, and eventually sucks the fun out of the game. I know this is very wishful thinking, but let's keep digging in. He mentions they have played and were influenced by other space games, but he mentions they were specifically influenced by Mech Warrior for the pace of the combat. Those of you who have played Mech Warrior, let us know in the comments if you see this being a good or a bad thing. I looked up just a few gameplay clips and I can definitely see how this would feel slower paced than other games. 
As I watched, I did feel, however, like it wasn't the speed of the pace that was the purpose of the design choices, but the nature of the pace. What I mean is, there is always something on the screen to engage with. There is always a turret or an aircraft or an enemy vehicle, but they never seemed like they were overwhelming the player to where they had a button smash or panic to get out of a situation. If anything, it felt more methodical, more calculated, like you could go in with a plan and strategy and execute that for a successful run on an enemy base or camp. And this actually seems fun to me. Just like Devil May Cry fans could say that Dark Souls is slow paced, Dark Souls players would say, no, it's calculated and methodical. One of Todd's last statements about the space combat actually aligns with this theory. Like, that, that's probably a little bit slower, but in terms of systems and power and being able to line things up. Now it's a little bit faster than that, but you know what I mean, as opposed yeah. to a twitchy dogfighter. It would have been nice if Ryan followed up and asked for an example of a fast-paced, twitchy dogfighter game, but I'm picturing something like Ace Combat. Hopefully, we'll get some more information, clarification, and most importantly, more gameplay to see for ourselves what we can expect. I know several of you are already extremely skeptical of Starfield. Is this another nail in the proverbial coffin for you? For those of you who are excited about Starfield and ready to buy the game yesterday, does this give you any reason for pause or concern? Let me know in the comments. I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you like this video, you can click on the screen here in just a few seconds and it'll suggest another one of our videos for you. For now, may you find wonder as you journey through the stars.